I've made my last single crochet and the pineapple is closing up now so I want to finish the row the same way I started so I'm going to chain three one two three and I'm going to work a shell in the end of this row in the last stitch so here I have one two three double crochet the third is the chain three that we started the previous row so in that first chain I'm going to work a shell so one two double crochet chain one and two double crochet in the same stitch now we're going to work we're going to start row 16 in which we're going to start by chaining three one two three which counts as a double crochet and in the chain one space I'm going to go ahead and work a shell again so two double crochet chain one and two double crochet chain one and two double crochet two okay so now I'm going to chain three one two three and put your hook in the first chain three space and single crochet one two three and single crochet one two three and single crochet one two three and single crochet in your last chain three space so in this row we're left with one two three chain three spaces so all your pineapples that are closing up are going to have a total of three chain three spaces so chain three to leave uh, this pineapple and to go on to the next one that it's that has started to form so in the first chain one space I am going to work a shell so two double crochet chain one and two double crochet one two chain one and in the next chain one space again we're going to work a shell so one two chain one and two more double crochet in the same chain one space okay oops so this is how the new pineapple this that has started to form up how it looks like so now chain three one two three and go ahead into the first chain three space and work a single crochet one two three single crochet one two three and single crochet one two three and single crochet in your last chain three space so again we have one two three chain three spaces chain three one two three and right here in this um, pineapple that has started to form in the first chain one space again we're going to work a shell so two double crochet chain one and two double crochet chain one and go into the next chain one space and again work two double crochet chain one and two double crochet one two So this is how all the pineapples that have that are closing up how they look like and all the pineapples that have started to form this is how they will look so before i finish the row i'm going to turn my video back on and see how to complete row 16 and how to start row 17. i'm almost done row 16 so i've worked my last single crochet in the last chain three space so chain three one two three work a shell in the chain one space so one two double crochet chain one and two double crochet in the same chain one space Oops. and as we did sorry and as we did in the beginning of the row I started by chaining three and then I made the shell in the chain one space so 
I work my shell in the chain one space and I'm going to finish my row by working a double crochet in the last stitch for this row. The last stitch <coughs> is the chain three that I did in the beginning of the previous row. So in the first out of those three chains, work a double crochet. Now we're going to start row 17 by chaining three. One, two, three. And those three chains count as a double crochet. And work two more double crochet in the same stitch, in this very first stitch. So this is the same thing as having three double crochet in the first stitch because the chain three counts as a double crochet and two more we have three double crochet. Now in the shell, in the chain one space, again we're going to work a shell. So one, two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet. Now we're going to leave here by chaining three. One, two, three. And go into the first chain three space and work a single crochet. One, two, three. And single crochet. One, two, three. And single crochet in the last chain three space. So all the pineapples are closing up are going to have a set of two chain three spaces. Now chain three, one, two, three, and in the pineapple that we have started to form, in every chain one space, we have one, two, three chain one spaces. In every chain one space, we're going to work a shell. So in the first chain one space, one, two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet. In the next chain one space, again, one, two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet. And in the last chain one space, again, we're going to work two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet. So this is how your work is going to look like. Now chain three, one, two, three, and jump over to the pineapple that we're closing up. So single crochet in the first chain one space, one, two, three, and single crochet, one, two, three, and single crochet in the last chain three space. So again, we're left with one, two, chain three spaces. So chain three, and again, now, in the shell that has started to form, in every chain one space, we're going to work a shell. So, starting from the first chain one space, one, two, chain one, and two more double crochet. In the next chain one space, again, two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet. And in the last chain one space, again, two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet. So this is how all your pineapples that have started to form will look like. And this is how all your pineapples, pineapples that are closing up, how they're going to look like. So right before I finish row 17, I'm going to turn the video and show how to start row 18, which is the last row of repetitions. And then from row 19 and on, um, I'm going to show that it's the same thing as starting all over from row 19, from row 1, sorry. I've worked my last single crochet in the last chain 3 space, and now I'm going to chain 3. 1, 2, 3. And I'm going to go ahead in the chain one space in the shell and I'm going to work a shell again. So one, two, chain one and two more double crochet in the same chain one space. And I'm going to complete the row the same way I started. So I started with three double crochet in the first stitch. 
So I'm going to finish by working three double crochet in the last stitch. So my last stitch is this chain three. So in the first out of those three chains, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. Now we're gonna start row 18, and I'm going to work three chains. One, two, three, and turn your work. Work two more double crochet in the same stitch. One, two, so again, it's the same thing as having three double crochet in the first stitch of the row. Now chain two, be very careful, chain two, and work a shell in the chain one space. So on top of the shell, again, we're going to work a shell. So one, two, chain one, and two more double crochet in the same chain one space. So this is how the beginning of your row has to look like. Okay, so now chain three, one, two, three, and work a single crochet in your first chain three space. One, two, three, and single crochet in your second chain three space. So now in this row, we're only left with it. one chain three space. So all your pineapples that are closing up have to have one chain three space. Now chain three, one, two, three, and now we're going to work on top of the pineapple that has started to form. So what we're going to do is we're going to work a shell, chain two, shell in the next chain one space, chain two, and shell in the next chain one space. So put your hook in the first chain one space, one, two, chain one, and one, two. Now we're going to chain two, one, two, shell in the next chain one space, one, two, chain one, and one, two. Now chain two, one, two, and shell on top of the next shell in the chain one space. So one, two, chain one, and one, two, double crochet. So in this row, the chain two spaces that I've worked between each shell, it's because when we when the pineapple has started to form, this is the shell that's going to be in the beginning of the pineapple. Then we're going to have the chain space in the center shell is where in later uh, rows we're going to work the nine double crochet and then on top of it we're going to work the chain three and the single crochet. And this is the shell that's going to close up the pineapple. Same thing as down here. So we are at this spot now where we made the shell and the two double crochet and the shell and the two double crochet, okay? So that's the distance that the pineapple, the shells are going to have with the chain three spaces in between. So now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Single crochet in your first chain three space. One, two, three and single crochet in your next chain three space. So again, we have only one chain three space left. One, two, three. And now again, here in the pineapple that's starting up, in the first shell, in the first chain one space, work a shell again. So two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet. Now chain two, one, two, and on top of the next shell in the chain one space, work again a new shell. So two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet. Again, chain two after the shell and work another shell in the chain one space. In, so on top of the next shell. So two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet. 
So this is how the rest of the row is going to be worked. So every starting up pineapple is going to be in the same spot. Every closing up pineapple is going to be in the same spot. Before I finish row 17, I'm going to turn, um, before I finish row 18, I'm going to turn my video back on and see how to continue the next rows. I'm almost done with row 18 and I'm going to finish the same way I started. So I worked my last single crochet in the chain three space and I've worked my chain three. So on top of the shell in this chain one space, again, I'm going to work a shell. So two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet in the same chain one space. I am going to chain two and I'm going to work the same thing as I did in the beginning of my row. So since I started with three double crochet and the chain two, I'm going to end up with a chain two and three double crochet in my last stitch. My last stitch is the chain three. So in that first chain, I'm going to work three double crochet. One, two, and three. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to start row 19 and row 19 is the same thing as we did in row one. But because in row one we had the double crochet, the, the chains and the single crochet down here, we're going to work row 19 together as well. So since I've started with five double crochet in the beginning of the row, in row 19 I'm gonna start with five double crochet as well. So let's go ahead and chain three, which counts as my first double crochet. One, two, three. And work four more double crochet in the first stitch. One, two, three, four. And my chain three counts as my fifth double crochet. Now chain two, one, two, and on top of the shell, again, I am going to work a shell. So two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet. One, and two. So this is how your work is going to look like in the beginning of the rows. This is going to be half of a pineapple. That's why instead of nine double crochet, we make five in the beginning. Okay, now chain three, one, two, three, and put your hook in the chain three space and work a single crochet. And because we do not have any more chain three spaces, work cha uh, chain three, one, two, three, and leave this pineapple and go ahead in the pineapple that's starting up right over here. So in the first chain one space, we're going to work a shell. So on top of the shell, we're working a new shell. Two double crochet, chain one, and two more double crochet. Again, we're going to chain two, one, two. In the center shell, we're going to work nine double crochet in the chain one space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now chain two, one, two, and in the next shell, in the chain one space, again work a new one. So one, two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet in the same chain one space so see right over here the new pineapple is starting up in the first shell we're working a shell chain two in the center one we have the nine double crochet chain two and a shell in the third set in the third shell that we worked in the previous row now chain three one two three and in your first and only chain three space work a single crochet 
and because there are no more chain 3 spaces, chain 3, and go ahead and work again in the beginning of your new pineapple. <clears throat> so on top of your first shell, work a new one. One, two, chain one, and two double crochet. Chain two, one, two. In your center shell, in the chain one space, work your nine double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Chain two and work a new shell on top of the chain one space on top of the other shell of the previous row. So two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet in the same chain one space. So as we did in this uh, new pineapple is starting up, we did the same exact thing in this one. So you're gonna do the same thing in all the other ones that are starting up. And the pineapple that's closing up, we're chaining three, single crochet, chain three, and go right ahead and start your new pineapple. So go ahead and finish off camera, and when I finish, I'm going to turn my video back on. I'm almost done with row 19, so I've worked my chain three, the single crochet in the last chain three space right over here, and then chain three, <clears throat> and go ahead and work a shell on top of the shell. So one, two, chain one and two double crochet. And I'm going to finish the same way I started. So I'm going to finish row 19 by chaining two. And I'm going to work five double crochet in the last stitch, which is the first out of the three chains that I did in that first stitch of the previous row. So one, two, three, four, and five. So now from here on, you're going to follow the same exact steps as we did in the beginning of our work. So you're gonna go back the video to row two, and as we did, we're going to start row 20 the same way we started row 2. So you're going to chain 4, double crochet in the second stitch, chain 1, double crochet in the third stitch, chain 1, and so on. The only difference, which is really not a difference, is see how here we have shell on top of the single crochet and then right away shell in the next single crochet. This is what you're going to do right here where this pineapple has closed up. So you're gonna work shell and go right ahead in the next one and work a shell again with no chains or anything. Just shell, go right ahead on the other side and work a shell. So that's the only difference. See how this is row two and row 20 is being worked in the same exact way. So instead of working um, the shell on top of those single crochet over here, going upwards right here in the same exact spot in row 20, we're working shell and jumping over into the next shell and work a shell again. Uh, other than that, the, the rest of the row is being worked the same exact way. So see how here we have a chain one after the shell and then double crochet, chain one and so on. You're going to follow the same exact steps because we're doing the same thing down here. And see how down here, chain uh, row three, uh, starts with a chain three. The same exact applies to row 21. It starts with a chain three and all of the row is being made in the same exact way. So turn your video backwards to row two and start all over again um, the same exact steps. So it's a repetition of rows one through 18. The only difference is that in row 19 you're going to follow the steps that I did in row 19 here because row 1 down here is the ones with the chains and the single crochet right here. So I've completed my tunic so far and I'm at the point where I'm going to start making the sleeves. 
So I put my stitch markers in to know that I'm going to stop sewing in the end up to this point and from there on it's the sleeve opening. So what I want us to do uh, in order to create the sleeves and we're going to work a few rows together and then the rest we're going to work off camera because what I want us to understand is how to start and how to finish each row uh, when we're making the sleeves. So up to where I stopped crocheting is the repetitions of row 12 and from starting the repetitions of row 13 this is from where we're going to start making the sleeve. So as we see here, this is the beginning of a pineapple that's only going to be half of it. What we're going to do is we're going to start and end each row in a way that we are going to make this pineapple to be a full pineapple as we have here in the center. So once we we make this full pineapple, we're going to have the opening for the sleeve that we want. So here we have we're going to start row 13 and this is a pineapple that's starting up right here is a pineapple in the center that's starting up and right here is a pineapple that's starting up so what we're doing in the center in the pineapple that's starting up the same exact steps we want to be doing in the beginning and in the end of the row in order to have the same result so since here I have two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet, this is what I want to have in the beginning of the row as well. So let's go ahead and see how to start the sleeves. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. As I mentioned earlier, we have finished crocheting uh, up to where we were doing the repetitions of row 12. And now we're going to start the sleeve in the row that we're doing the repetitions for row 13. So let's start by chaining three, one, two, three, and turn your work. So those three chains count as our first double crochet. So what we're gonna do, we, we're going to be doing in the beginning and in the end of our work, the same exact steps we're doing in the center. So since here I have two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet, my shell, the same thing in the same exact way I'm going to start my row. So in the very first stitch, I'm going to work a shell. So the chain three counts as a double crochet. Work one more double crochet in the first double crochet. Chain one and two more double crochet in the same stitch. One, two. So we're gonna leave this pineapple. It's gonna start to uh, work up in the next rows by chaining three. One, two, three. Put your hook in the first chain three space and single crochet. One, two, three. Single crochet in the next chain three space. One, two, three. Single crochet in the next chain three space. One, two, three. Single crochet in the next chain three space. One, two, three. Single crochet in the next chain three space. One, two, three. Single crochet in the next chain three space. One two, three, single crochet in your last chain three space and chain three to leave this pineapple that's um, working up right now so one, two, three and put your hook in the chain one space that's in between the two sets of two double crochet that we worked in the previous row so under this chain one space we're going to work a shell two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet chain three, one, two, and three, and put your hook in the first chain three space and single crochet. One, two, three, single crochet in the next chain three space. One, two, three, single crochet in the next chain three space. One, two, three, single crochet in the next chain three space. One, two, three, single crochet in the next chain three space. One, two, three, single crochet in the next chain three space. One, two, three, single crochet in your last chain three space. Now chain three, one, two, three, and put your hook 
again here in between the chain one space that's between the two sets of two double crochet and again we're going to work a shell so two double crochet chain one and two double crochet now from here on we are repeating the pattern and when I reach the end, where again we're going to work the same steps that we did in the beginning, I'm going to turn my video back on to see how to finish and how to start the new row. I'm almost done with my row, so I've worked my, my chain 3 spaces and my single crochet on the pineapple that's being made at the moment. Okay, I worked my last single crochet in the last chain 3 space, and I've worked 3 chains. So I want to finish my row the same way I started. So I want to work a shell in the very last stitch for this row. So my last stitch is the chain three that I worked in the previous row, in the beginning of the previous row. So put your hook on that third chain and we're going to work a shell. Two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet in the same stitch. Chain one, and two more double crochet in the same stitch. One, two. So these were the repetitions that we did for row 13. Now we're going to start the repetitions for row 14. And again, we see that in the center, in the pineapple, it's going to start up in the next rows. Again, we're working a shell on top of the shell of the previous row. So I want to do the same exact thing in the beginning and in the end of my row. So without doing any chains, without working any chains, just turn your work. And what we want to do is we want to uh, put our hook right here in the chain one space. We want to reach that point in order to start by working with a shell, okay? So in order to do that, I'm going to work one slip stitch in every stitch up until I reach my chain one space. So put your hook in the first double crochet and work a slip stitch. Okay, in the first stitch and work a slip stitch. Slip stitch in the second double crochet. Slip stitch in the chain one space. And since we have reached the point that we wanted, now we're going to work a shell right here in this chain one space. So chain three, which counts as a double crochet. One double crochet in the same chain space. Chain one and two more double crochet in the same chain one space. Okay, so we have our shell for the beginning of our row. And this is how I want to finish my row as well. So now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And the rest of the row is the same. We're going to be working in the same exact way as we did uh, the repetitions for row 14 in the previous rows as well. Okay, so the only difference is in the beginning and in the end of the row. So put your hook in the first chain 3 space and single crochet, chain 3. Single crochet in the next chain 3 space, chain 3. Single crochet in the next chain 3 space, chain three, single crochet in the next chain three space, chain three, single crochet in the next chain three space, chain three, single crochet in the next chain three space. Okay, now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and in the shell that we worked in the previous row, again in this row we're going to work a shell. So in the chain one space, work again, two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet. Now again, we're going to chain three, one, two, three. Put your hook in the first chain three space and single crochet. One, two, three, single crochet in the next chain three space. One, two, three, single crochet in the next chain three space. One, two, three, single crochet in the next chain space. 
one, two, three, single crochet in the next chain space. One, two, three, single crochet on your last chain three space. Now chain three, one, two, three. And again, on the shell that we did in the previous row, in this row again, we're gonna work a shell again. So two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet. Work the rest of the row as we're doing for the repetitions of row 14. And before I finish the row, I'm gonna turn the video back on and see how to finish the row and how to start the new one, which is going to be the repetitions of row 15. I'm almost done with this row and I've worked my chain three spaces and single crochet in the last pineapple. I've worked my chain three and now in the end of the row, I'm gonna do the same exact thing as I did in the beginning of the row. So in the chain one space, again, I am going to work a shell. So two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet. Now we're gonna start the repetitions of row 15 and see, and see how here in row 15 on the pineapple that's going to start up in the next rows, we have three sets of two double crochet. I want to do the same exact thing in the beginning of the row and in the end of the row as well. So, and this happens as I mentioned earlier because we want to have a full pineapple here and not only half of it. So let's go ahead and start. Do not work any chains, just turn your work. And as we did in the previous row, we're going to work a slip stitch up until we reach the first chain one space for this row. So put your hook in the first double crochet and slip stitch. Slip stitch in the second double crochet. Slip stitch in the first chain one space. Okay. And since we've reached the chain one space, now we're gonna start working the beginning for this row. Chain three, one, two, three, which counts as a double crochet. Double crochet in the first, in the same chain one space. Okay, so chain one. Two more double crochet in the same chain one space. One, two, chain one. And two more double crochet in the same chain one space. So we want to have three sets of two double crochet. One, two, three. Now chain three. One, two, three. Put your hook in the first chain three space and single crochet. Chain three. One, two, three, single crochet in the next chain three space. One, two, three, single crochet in the next chain three space. One, two, three, single crochet in the next chain three space. One, two, three, single crochet in the next chain three space. Now chain three. One, two, three. And put your hook in the shell that we worked in the previous row in the chain one space. And as we did in the beginning of the row, same here, we're going to work three sets of two double crochet. So one, two, chain one, two more double crochet in the same chain one space, chain one, and two more double crochet in the same chain one space. So here again, we have three sets of two double crochet. Now we're going to chain three, work on the pineapple that's um, being made at the moment, chain three, and again, right here on the pineapple that's gonna start up in the next rows, again, work three sets of two double crochet. So keep working the repetitions of row 15 up until you complete the row. And right before I reach the end, I'm gonna turn the video back on and see how to finish the repetitions of row 15 and how to start the repetitions of row 16. I'm almost done with the repetitions for this row, for row 15. Okay, so I've made my chain three spaces and my single crochet over here in the pineapple that's about to close up. I've chained three, and now we're going to finish the row the same way we started, and the same way that all these pineapples that are starting up 
look like. So again, I'm going to work three sets of two double crochet. So in this chain one space in the last shell right over here, I'm going to work two double crochet, one, two, chain one, two double crochet in the same chain space. chain one and our last two double crochet one two okay so now we're going to start the repetitions for row 16 so turn your work do not work any chains or anything okay so put your hook in the first double crochet for this row and work a slip stitch slip stitch in the second double crochet slip stitch in the chain one space and right here in this chain space that we just worked our slip stitch we are going to work our first shell so chain three which counts as a double crochet double crochet in the same chain space chain one and work two more double crochet in the same chain one space Now chain one and go right ahead in the next chain one space right over here and again work a shell. Two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet. Okay, now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Put your hook in the first chain three space and single crochet. One, two, three. Put your hook in the next chain three space and single crochet. One, two, three. Single crochet in the next chain three space. One, two, three. Single crochet in your last chain three space. Now chain three. One, two, three. And again, right over here. We're going to do the same exact steps we did in the beginning of our row. So put your hook in the first chain one space and work a shell. So one, two double crochet, chain one, and two more double crochet. Chain one, put your hook in the next chain one space and again work a shell. One, Two double crochet, chain one, and two more double crochet. Now chain three, one, two, three, and start working your single crochet in your chain three spaces right over here. Then again chain three, and over here work the same exact steps that we just did, and keep following the same pattern as we did for row 16 up until you finish the row. And before I finish, I'm going to turn the video back on and see how to end the repetitions for row 16 and how to start the repetitions for row 17. I'm almost done with the repetitions for row 16. So I've worked my chain 3 spaces and single crochet on this pineapple. I've chained 3. And now finish the same way we started. In the first chain 1 space, work a shell. So two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet. Chain one and work a shell in the last chain one space for this row. So again, two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet. Now we're going to start the next row, so do not chain anything, just turn your work. Okay, so what we're going to be doing on those steps is we want to be working slip stitches in the first stitches up until we reach the first chain one space. So, so that's why we're working the slip stitches every time. So slip stitch in the first double crochet slip stitch in the second one slip stitch in the chain one space 
So now, since we reached the chain one space, again, we want to work a shell. So chain three, which counts as a double crochet, double crochet in the same chain space, chain one, and two more double crochet in the same chain one space. Now work a shell in the chain one space that we were working between each shell in the previous row. So under that chain one space, again, work a shell. Two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet. And in the chain one space, in the shell, work a shell again. So this is how the beginning of your row should look like. Shell on top of your shell of the previous row, shell in the chain one space, and shell in the chain one space on top of the second shell that we were working. Now chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the first chain three space, one, two, three, single crochet in the next chain three space, one, two, three, single crochet in your last chain three space. Now chain three, and again, we have two shells in the chain one space in between them, so in every chain one space we're going to be working a shell in this row. So shell in the first chain one space, shell in the next chain one space, and shell in your last chain one space. So this is how your work looks like. We work the shell on top of the shell, shell on top of the chain one space, and shell on top of the other shell. Now chain three, and work your chain three spaces in single crochet, Again, here you're going to work the same steps that we did over here. So we're doing the, the uh, repetitions for row uh, 17. So let's go and finish off camera. And right before I finish the row, I'm going to turn the video back on and see how to uh, end the row and how to start the new one. I'm almost done with the repetitions of row 17. So I've worked my chain 3 spaces in my single crochet. I worked the chain 3. So go ahead and work a shell on top of the chain one space of the first shell. In the next chain one space, again, work a shell. And in your last chain one space, right here on top of the on top of the shell, again work a shell. So this is how the end of our row looks like. Now turn your work. Do not work any chains. Put your hook in the first single crochet and slip stitch. <clears throat> slip stitch in the second double crochet. Slip stitch in the chain one space. And now, right here in the first, <clears throat> excuse me, in the first chain one space, work a shell. So chain three, one, two, three, which counts as our first double crochet. Double crochet in the same chain space chain one and two more double crochet in the same chain one space so this is our first shell now chain two 
and on top of the second shell right here in the next chain one space again work a shell now chain two and on top of the third shell right here on our last chain one space again work a shell So this is how the beginning of our row looks like. Shell on top of the shell, chain two, shell on top of the second shell, chain two, and shell on top of the third shell. Now chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the first chain three space, one, two, three, single crochet in your second and last chain three space. Now chain three, one, two, three, and again here, shell on top of the first shell here on the chain one space. Chain two. shell on top of the second shell chain two and shell on top of the third shell okay so shell on top of the shell chain two shell on top of the next one chain two and shell on top of the next one now we're going to chain three work here in the pineapple that's closing up chain three work the same steps that we just did over here right on here so we're following the repetitions of row 18. before i finish the row i'm going to turn my video back on to see how to end row 18 and how to start the repetitions for row 19. I'm almost done with this row. I've worked my single crochet in the one and only chain three space that I'm left with. Chain three and work a shell on top of the shell, always in the chain one space. Now chain two one two shell on top of the second shell chain two and shell on top of the last shell always in the chain one space okay so this is how the end of our row looks like so see how here by adding stitches by making a whole pineapple in the beginning and in the end of our row see how this leaf has started to form now turn your work do not chain we're not going to be chaining anything up until we finish crocheting the sleeve we are always going to be starting with slip stitches okay so slip stitch in the first double crochet slip stitch in the second one slip stitch in the first chain one space in which we're going to work our first shell so chain three double crochet in the same chain one space chain one and two more double crochet now chain two and inside the second shell out of the three we are going to work nine double crochet one two three four five 
six, seven, eight, and nine. Chain two and work a shell on top of the third shell, always in the chain one space. So this is how the beginning of our row looks like, shell on top of the first one, chain two, nine double crochet on top of the second shell, chain two and shell on top of the third one. Now chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the one and only chain three space, chain three again, two, three, and again work your new pineapple that's going to start to form the next uh, rows. So right here in the first chain one space, shell, chain two, nine double crochet in the second shell, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Chain two and shell on top of the third shell, always in the chain one space. Okay, so shell on top of the first one, chain two, nine double crochet in the second one, chain two, shell on top of the third one. Now again we're going to chain three, single crochet, chain three and work again on your new pineapple and keep working the same steps up until you complete the row. Right before I finish the row I'm going to turn the video back on and see how to end row 19 and how to start uh, the repetitions for row 20. I'm almost done with the repetitions of row uh, 19. So I've worked my chain three, single crochet in the one and only chain three space. I've chained three, so work a shell on top of the shell, always in the chain one space. Chain two, nine double crochet in the center shell one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, chain two, and work a shell on top of the last shell. So two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet again. Okay, so this is how the end of our row looks like. Now we're gonna start the repetitions of row 20. So slip stitch, on your first double crochet, slip stitch on the second one, slip stitch in the chain one space in which we're going to work our first shell, so chain three, counts as a double crochet, double crochet in the same chain space, chain one and two more double crochet in the same chain space. Now we're going to chain one and work one double crochet on top of the first out of the nine that we made in the previous row. Chain one, double crochet on the second stitch. Chain one, double crochet on the third stitch. Chain one, double crochet on the fourth stitch. Chain one, double crochet on the fifth one. 
chain one, double crochet on the sixth one, chain one, double crochet on the seventh one, chain one, double crochet on the eighth one, chain one and double crochet on the ninth one. So after the first double crochet and before the ninth, we have a total of eight chain one spaces and a total of nine double crochet. Now chain one and shell on top of the shell. So this is how the beginning of our row looks like. Now, the pineapple that we finished in the previous row, now we're going to finish it completely. And what we're going to do in order to finish it completely, we're going to jump over in the chain one space right here in the shell and work a shell right away. No chain spaces or anything, just go right ahead in the next shell and work a shell. So this pineapple right over here has closed up completely. Now let's go ahead and keep working on our new one. So chain one and work a double crochet on your first stitch. Chain one, double crochet on the second one. Chain one, double crochet on the third one. Chain one, double crochet on the fourth one. Chain one, double crochet on the fifth one, chain one, double crochet on the sixth one, chain one, double crochet on the seventh one, chain one, double crochet on the eighth stitch, chain one, and double crochet on your ninth and last stitch. Now chain one and work a shell on top of the shell. Okay, so shell on top of the shell, on top of our nine double crochet, we made a total of nine double crochet again with a total of eight chain one spaces in between, chain one and shell on top of the shell. Now again, we're closing up completely this pineapple that has finished up, so jump right over right here in the shell and again work a shell, work your new pineapple and keep working the repetitions of row 20 up until you complete the row. Right before I finish, I'm going to turn the video back on and see how to end the repetitions of row 20 and how to start the repetitions of row 21. I'm almost done with the repetitions of uh, row 20. So I'm going to go again right ahead from this shell right over to the next one and work a shell. Now chain one, double crochet on the first stitch, chain one, double crochet on the next one, chain one, double crochet on the third one, chain one, double crochet on the fourth one, chain one, double crochet on the fifth one, chain one, double crochet on the sixth one, chain one, double crochet on the seventh one. Chain one, double crochet on the eighth one. Chain one, double crochet on the ninth. Chain one, and shell on top of the last shell for this row. Now from now on, since we've understood, since we've understood how the end of the row is being worked. We work the end of the row the same exact way we do the beginning of our row, okay, in the same way we do in between those pineapples that are starting up at um, now. So from now on, we're going to be ending the row of camera. So let's go ahead and start the repetitions of row 21. And we're left with only five rows to finish the sleeve. 
So slip stitch on the first double crochet, slip stitch on the second one, slip stitch on the chain one space, and work your first shell. So chain three, double crochet, chain one, and two more double crochet in the same chain one space. So this is our first shell, chain three. And now we're going to start working our chain three loops. So single crochet on your first chain one space, chain three. Single crochet on the next chain one space, one, two, three. Single crochet on the next chain one space, one, two, three. Single crochet on the next chain one space, one, two, three. Single crochet on the next chain one space, one, two, three. Single crochet on the next one, one, two, three. Single crochet on the next one, one, two, three. Single crochet on the next one, one, two, three. So this was my last chain one space. So now I've chained three and see how we worked the shells back to back right here where we ended the pineapple. So on top of the first shell, we are only going to work two double crochet. Chain one and go right ahead on the next shell and work two more double crochet. So we're only crocheting two double crochet on the one shell, chain one, and two more double crochet on the next shell. So now I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. And again, start working your chain three loops right here. Single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, up until you finish this pineapple, chain three. And again here on the back to back shells, again you're gonna work two double crochet, chain one and two more double crochet on the next shell. Here again, you're going to form your new pineapple and we're going to finish our row with right over here, back to back those two shells, two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet, do your pineapple, chain three, and finish your row with a shell. I finished with row 21, so we're going to turn our work and start row 22. So the repetitions for row 22. So slip stitch on the first double crochet, Slip stitch on the second one, slip stitch in the chain one space and start your first shell right here on this very same chain one space. So one, two, three, double crochet in the same space, chain one and two more double crochet. So now chain three, one, two, three and single crochet on your first chain three space. One, two, three, single crochet in the next one. One, two, three, single crochet in the next one. One, two, three, single crochet in the next one. One, two, three, single crochet in the next one. One, two, three, single crochet in the next one. One, two, three, single crochet in your last chain three space. Now chain three and right here in the chain one space that's between the two sets of two double crochet that we worked, right here in the chain one space work a shell. So two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet. Chain three to leave here, one, two, three to leave this step. And again, start with your single crochet in your chain three spaces. One, two, three, single crochet in the next chain three space. One, two, three, single crochet in the next one. One, two, three, single crochet in the next one. One, two, three, single crochet in the next one. One, two, three, single crochet in the next one. One, two, three single crochet on your last chain three space one two three and again right here in the chain one space that's between the two sets of two double crochet work a shell so 
So two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet in the same chain one space. Okay, so now we're going to chain three to leave this step and start working your single crochet in your chain three spaces, then chain three and again in the chain one space in between, again work a shell and work the same pattern up until you complete the row where you're going to finish with a chain three and a shell on top of the last chain one space for this row. I finished with row 22, now we're going to turn our work and start row 23. Okay, so slip stitch on top of your first double crochet. Slip stitch on the second one. Slip stitch in the chain one space in which we're going to work our first shell. So chain three, one, two, three, double crochet in the same chain one space, chain one and two more double crochet in the same chain one space. So now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and work a single crochet on your first chain three space. One, two, three, single crochet in the next one, one, two, three, single crochet in the next one. One, two, three, single crochet in the next one. One, two, three, single crochet in the next one. One, two, three, single crochet in the last chain three space. Chain three. And on the shell that we worked in the previous row, on top of that shell, again, we're going to work a shell in this row as well. So chain double, two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet. Now again, chain three, one, two, three, and single crochet in the first chain three space. One, two, three, single crochet in the next one. One, two, three, single crochet in the next one. One, two, three, single crochet in the next one. One, two, three, single crochet in the next one. One, two, three, single crochet in your last chain three space. Chain three. And again, on the shell of the previous row, on top of it, again, work a shell in this row as well. So keep working the pattern the same way up until you finish the row in which you're going to finish by working your pineapple right here in the end, chain three and work a shell on top of the last shell of this row. I'm done with row 23 and now we're going to start row 24 for our sleeve and we're going to work a slip stitch on our first double crochet, slip stitch on the second one slip stitch in the first chain one space and work your first shell in this very same stitch one two three double crochet in the same chain one space chain one and two more double crochet now chain three and go ahead and single crochet on your first chain three space one, two, three, single crochet in the next one. One, two, three, single crochet in the next one. One, two, three, single crochet in the next one. One, two, three, single crochet in the next one. One, two, three. So this was my last chain three space, so I'm going to chain three. And now on the shell that we worked on top of the shell of the previous row, in this row, we are going to work three sets of two double crochet. Okay, so go ahead and put your hook in this chain one space and work two double crochet. Chain one, two double crochet in the same chain one space. 
chain one and two last double crochet in the same chain one space. So we have a total of three sets of two double crochet with a chain one space in between them. Now chain three, one, two, three, and start working your single crochet in your chain three spaces to work on the pineapple, chain three. Again here on the chain one space, again we're going to do two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet. So three sets of two double crochet. Here you're going to work your pineapple and finish off the row by working your pineapple, chain three, and a shell on your last chain one space right over here. I've completed row 24 and now we're going to start row 25 and I'm going to work a slip stitch in the first two stitches. Slip stitch on your chain one space, chain three, double crochet in the same chain space, chain one and two more double crochet in the same chain one space. Now chain three, one, two, three, Go ahead and single crochet on your first chain three space. One, two, three, single crochet in the next one. One, two, three, single crochet in the next one. One, two, three, single crochet on your last chain three space. One, two, three. Now here where we work the three sets of two of two double crochet. In the first chain one space, we're going to work a shell. Now after the shell, chain one, and work a shell in the next chain one space as well. So on top of the first chain one space, I worked two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, chain one, and in the second, chain one space, again work two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet. Now chain three, start working your single crochet in your chain three spaces on top of the pineapple, chain three, again on the three sets of two double crochet that we have on the first chain one space work a shell, chain one, and shell again in the next chain one space. So keep working the same pattern up until you complete the row where you're going to finish by working on top of your pineapple, chain three, and finish your row with a shell on top of the shell of the previous row right here in the chain one space. I've completed row 25, now we're going to start row 26 in which we're going to work a slip stitch on the, on the first two stitches of this row. Slip stitch in the chain one space and work your first shell. So chain three, double crochet in the same chain one space, chain one and two more double crochet. Now chain three, single crochet on your first chain three space. One, two, three, single crochet in the next chain three space. One, two, three, single crochet on your last chain three space. Now chain three. In here, in the previous row we worked shell, chain one and shell. So in each of those chain one spaces we're going to work a shell in this row. So we're going to have three shells in a row. So shell on the first chain one space. In the next chain one space, again, work a shell. And in the last chain one space, again, work a shell. So this is how it looks shell on top of the shell, shell on the chain one space, and shell on top of the last shell. Now you're going to chain three and work on top of the pineapple right over here. 
chain three and again work a total of three shells over here chain three work on top of the pineapple and finish the row by working on top of your pineapple chain three and end your row with a shell on top of the shell right here on the chain one space